In the heart of the African savanna, beneath a blanket of stars that twinkled like diamonds in the night sky, a momentous event was taking place. Within the confines of a hidden thicket, nestled amidst the tall grasses and sprawling acacia trees, a lioness named Sarabi gave birth to a cub. This cub was no ordinary creature. He was destined to become the ruler of the pride, the sovereign of the vast lands that stretched as far as the eye could see. As the first rays of dawn illuminated the savanna, the newborn cub took his first breaths of life. His fur, a rich golden hue, glistened in the morning light, and his eyes, though still closed, sparkled with the promise of greatness. This cub was named Simba, a name that would soon resonate throughout the entire kingdom. As Simba grew, so too did his curiosity about the world around him. Under the watchful gaze of his parents, Mufasa and Sarabi, he ventured beyond the safety of the pride's den, eager to explore the wonders of the savanna. Alongside his spirited companion, Nala, Simba roamed the grasslands, chasing butterflies and pouncing on unsuspecting insects. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Simba's playful antics gave way to a deeper understanding of his role within the pride. Guided by his father's wisdom, he learned the importance of leadership, courage, and compassion, qualities that would one day shape him into a true king. As Simba approached adolescence, he began to grasp the significance of the circle of life, the delicate balance that governed all living things in the savanna. He witnessed firsthand the cycle of birth and death as new members joined the pride and older ones passed into the realm of ancestors. Through these experiences, Simba gained a newfound appreciation for the interconnectedness of all creatures, from the tiniest insect to the mightiest elephant. But as Simba's understanding of the world deepened, so too did the shadows that lurked on the fringes of the Pride Lands. Among these shadows was Scar, Simba's envious uncle, who harbored ambitions of seizing the throne for himself. Scar's malevolent schemes threatened to disrupt the delicate balance of the savanna, plunging the Pride Lands into chaos and despair. Unbeknownst to Simba, Scar conspired with a band of hyenas, vile scavengers who roamed the outskirts of the kingdom. Together, they plotted to overthrow Mufasa and claim dominion over the Pride Lands, a plot that would alter the course of Simba's life forever. One fateful day, Scar set his treacherous plan into motion, luring Simba and his father into a deadly trap. Under the guise of a harmless stampede, Scar orchestrated a chaotic scene that sent Mufasa plummeting into a ravine below. Simba, paralyzed with fear and confusion, watched helplessly as his father's life was cruelly extinguished before his very eyes. Consumed by grief and guilt, Simba fled into the wilderness, his heart heavy with sorrow. Scar, seizing the opportunity, proclaimed himself the new king and cast a shadow of tyranny over the once proud pride lands. But unknown to Scar, Simba's journey was far from over. It was only just beginning. Alone and adrift in the vast expanse of the wilderness, Simba struggled to come to terms with the tragic events that had befallen him. He blamed himself for his father's death, convinced that he was unworthy of the title of king. But as he wandered aimlessly through the untamed wilderness, Simba encountered unexpected allies who would help him find his way back to the Pride Lands. Among these allies was Taimon, a carefree meerkat with a penchant for mischief, and Pumba, a jovial warthog with a heart of gold. Together, they offered Simba shelter and companionship, teaching him the value of friendship and the importance of living in the present moment. Under their guidance, Simba began to heal from the wounds of his past, finding solace in the simple joys of life. But even as Simba embraced his newfound freedom, the call of the past beckoned him back to the Pride Lands. In a moment of clarity, he realized that he could not outrun his destiny forever, that he was destined to confront his demons and reclaim his rightful place as king. With a renewed sense of purpose, Simba set out on a journey of self-discovery, determined to confront Scar and restore peace to the Pride Lands once and for all. As Simba ventured closer to the Pride Lands, he encountered a familiar face from his past, Nala, his childhood friend and confidant. Nala, now a fierce lioness in her own right, had never given up hope that Simba was still alive. 
With her unwavering support and determination, she urged Simba to return to the Pride Lands and confront Scar, promising to stand by his side no matter the cost. With Nala's encouragement, Simba found the strength to face his fears and embrace his destiny as the rightful king of the Pride Lands. Together, they rallied the remaining members of the Pride, forging an alliance against Scar and his hyena henchmen. And as they prepared for the final confrontation, Simba knew that the fate of the Pride Lands rested squarely on his shoulders. The Day of Reckoning arrived as Simba and his allies clashed with Scar and his hyena army in a titanic struggle for control of the Pride Lands. The air crackled with tension as lions roared and hyenas cackled, their fates intertwined in a battle that would determine the future of the kingdom. Amidst the chaos and confusion, Simba faced Scar in a dramatic showdown that echoed with the echoes of the past. With each blow, he confronted the specter of his father's death, overcoming his inner demons and embracing his true destiny as the Lion King. And as the dust settled and the sun dipped below the horizon, Simba emerged victorious, his roar of triumph echoing across the plains for all to hear. With Scar defeated and peace restored to the Pride Lands, Simba ascended to the throne as the rightful king, his reign heralding a new era of prosperity and harmony. Under his wise and benevolent rule, the kingdom flourished, its inhabitants united in a shared vision of hope and renewal. But even as Simba basked in the adulation of his subjects, he knew that his journey was far from over. He vowed to honor the legacy of his father, Mufasa, and the generations of kings who had come before him, ensuring that the circle of life continued to thrive for generations to come. And as he looked out over the vast expanse of his kingdom, Simba knew that his roar would echo throughout the ages, a testament to.